Sure. So the Dixon House, or what students refer to as House 2 on Residential Boulevard, and they put a major addition onto that, and there was a mold issue in that addition on the back end. Uh, when I heard that House 2 shut down because of mold, I it, it was a little weird for me because I felt that I was living in there at the time because mold, that doesn't happen overnight. So the Board of Trustees voted in September to approve uh, up to $1.7 million out of our uh, reserves to actually remodel. And so that uh, project started the week that the board voted and approved. Then the Student Engagement Committee of the board working with Student Life, Academic Affairs, to have that as a unique sophomore year experience. But one of the opportunities that we're thinking about in terms of engagement right now are these sophomore learning communities and how they would directly tie with the renovations of the Dixon House. It, within our first year LLCs specifically, um, our students live on the same residence hall, usually a cohort of about 16 to 18 students who live on the same residence hall and take a series of courses together, typically three courses in the fall and then two courses in the spring. And they have a team of two to three faculty who teach across those four, you know, four to five courses over the academic year. So one of the ideas that we're currently talking about is interfaith um, and using the resources within the Wolfington Center um, with one of our community partners, Peter Bowersox, who is over at the Norristown House, um, and uh, also working with Interfaith Youth Corps, and thinking about how we can begin to kind of bring all these components together and offer an opportunity for our students in that second year, and how we can hopefully help them to continue to develop that niche um, so they will return for junior year and persist toward graduation. I think it's a good idea um, to do that. I think with having the freshman LLC, that's a good way, you know, to kind of get um, freshman students to kind of live together and band together, you know, because some students may be a little uncomfortable their first year, but now with sophomores, they, they may still have those same feelings, you know, going to their sophomore year. So I think it's a good thing uh, to do and have that house open for that reason.